Are you ready for a project that you're going to love? Hey, hey guys, it's Corey from Hey Let's Make Stuff and I am here today to show you a new product that I'm so excited about. It's the foil quilt from We Are Memory Keepers. I first saw this demoed at Creativation and basically it turns your electronic cutting machine into a foiling machine and I am so stoked to get my hands on it. Um, when We Are Memory Keepers asked if I wanted one, of course I said yes. So today we're going to unbox it. We're also going to use this little uh, design drive which has 200 designs that they also sent me. We're going to do a project. It's going to be so fun. Come along with me. Okay, I've got the foil quilt unboxed, so let's see what comes with it. You are going to get three different sizes of the foil quilt itself. You get a fine point, a medium point, and a thicker point. You get three colors of foil, silver, copper, and gold. You also get an instruction book, um, some tape for actually taping down your project to, uh, or taping down your foil to your project. There's a little heat shield to protect your machine when the foil quilt is heating up, as well as four machine adapters. Um, the first one, A here is for silhouette. You can use it with your cameo, portrait, or curio. B is for brother. You can use it with your scan and cut or your designing cut. C is for cricket. You can use that with your explorer maker machines. I'm going to be using it with my um, explorer air two. And D is for Sizzix, which you can use with your Eclipse machine. Um, I'm also going to be using the uh, design drive from Heidi Swap. This doesn't actually come in the box, but it was sent to me. Um, it has 200 different designs on it. Um, I'm going to be making one of those for the project today. For this project, I'm going to use one of the images off the Heidi Swap design drive. So I'm going to go ahead and use the upload feature of Cricut Design Space to upload that image, which I've just saved to my desktop at this point. Um, when you bring it in, you can go ahead and save it and then click on it and insert the image onto your canvas. You'll see that it comes in as an SVG, um, which means that it's a cut file, not a draw file. So let's go ahead and make it a little bigger. I'm gonna make it four inches across. And then we're gonna change the line type from cut to draw. And now the image looks more like what you would expect to be foiled. Right now it's all these different pieces over here in the uh, layers panel. Go ahead and hit weld and it becomes one piece. I'd like to cut this on a little piece of black cardstock, so let's go ahead and insert a square over here in the shapes tool. Um, I'm going to click the little lock so that I can manipulate the edges separately. So I'm going to make it four and a half inches wide by four and uh, three quarters tall. And then I can go ahead and put it right over my image. You won't be able to see your image, so go ahead and send that to back using the arrange tool. You can select both images and use the align tool to center it horizontally and vertically. I also want to change this love um, image to pink so that I can actually sort of see what my final project's going to look like. Then select both things, click attach, and we're ready to make our project. Click make it in the upper right corner. Once we have our project on our mat, we can go ahead and move it to the bottom of the mat. This was something that was suggested to me by Melissa at Silhouette School. That way you can actually pause your Cricut between those, the foiling and the cutting, remove the foil, and have a much nicer cut. Um, it doesn't work with larger projects, but on smaller projects like this, it's a really great tip. Click Continue, and then go ahead and connect your Cricut device. I'm going to connect my Cricut Explorer Air 2. We Are Memory Keepers suggests using the same material setting as the material that, that you're foiling, so I have my Cricut set to cut cardstock, as you'll see here once it connects, and then it will prompt us to load our tools and mat. Um, it will say to load the pen because we actually have it set as a draw layer, but instead of loading the pen, we're going to load the foil quill. Now let's go ahead and make our project. So I inserted the foil quill into the uh, pen slot here. To do that, I actually had to remove the pen adapter here. Um, I just pushed up and it popped right out. Then I screwed on the machine adapter that came with the foil quill. It was a C for Cricut. Um, I screwed that onto the foil quill and it fit right in. To power the foil quill, I'm using a backup battery that I often use for my phone while I travel. It seems to be working perfectly. It takes about five minutes for it to heat up and while, I, while it's heating up, I have this little heat shield underneath there so it doesn't damage my mat. While it's heating up, you can put your material onto your mat. So I have my black cardstock on my mat. I have um, the foil cut about an inch wider than my actual project, and I've used the uh, tape to go ahead and hold it down. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and insert it into my machine now. This has been heating up for more than five minutes. And it will start with the draw sequence. So it will start by 
um, drawing our image with the foil quilt in the foil and then it will cut. So right now I'm going to go ahead and pause the machine. This brings it up far enough that I can actually take off the tape here. This tape is a little stickier than you might expect, but it does come off if you are careful. You can see how beautifully it has foiled that black paper. Oh my gosh, I'm just in love with it. You can also see that I had a little bit of foil right here that didn't get foiled because it went over my tape. Um, I've had that problem now a couple times that I've done this and I just need to cut it larger, <laughs> even though I keep trying to save material. So you'll wanna be on the lookout for that. Then if you hit the pause button again, So it's totally awesome, right? I'm just so excited about this new product. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. If you're new here, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit like on this video. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you soon.